everybody. I'm Susan. Welcome to Plateau Art Studio, art for kids. Join me as I walk you through step by step on some art projects. Let's see what we're doing today. Hi everyone. Well today we're going to take flight in a hot air balloon. So I've got a cute story about this one. Um, <laughs> I've got some animals that are taking flight in our little balloon and the story is that the very first hot air balloon was invented and flown in 1783 in France and that was a very long time ago and guess who the passengers were they were not humans like us they had a duck a rooster and a sheep and that's a true story that were, those were the first passengers in a hot air balloon. It didn't fly very high. They had a rope to it and it flew about 1,500 feet across and up to in the sky. And then it landed slowly and none of the animals were harmed. So they were all just fine. So I thought, what a better way to celebrate some uh, a cute little project with a little history. So there we have it. <laughs> so this is our little hot air balloon. So the first thing you have is a uh, kind of a drawing of your balloon. And I, I do want you to trace your balloon with a uh, black, again, like we've done in the past, a black um, oil pastel, which is water resistant. A black crayon is water resistant for paint and or a permanent marker or waterproof marker. We cannot use regular markers because they will run in using paint and water. Okay, so you put me on pause and when you have completed, you do not have to paint or trace uh, your, um, you might wanna just trace the outline of your basket because we will be using a little burlap actual basket to glue on so you don't have to draw that all in okay so go ahead and trace and then revisit me and we'll start with the next step all right all right so let's talk about patterns we have one that's half done here that I'll finish with you and after you're done tracing the next step I want you to do is to come up with a pattern I printed these out, this particular paper out of these really pretty balloons, and hopefully you can see them well on my video. This one is red, black, yellow, white with blue diamonds. This one has big white diamonds with different colors, red, different reds and green and blue. This one, I tend to like the brighter colors. This one's just stripes. And this one is stripes with rounded, like really long stretched ovals, stripes and, and half diamonds on that one. I don't know if you can see it. It's a really pretty picture. So you nowadays, hot air balloons even come in animal shapes. So you can come up with anything. You can have flowers on your hot air balloon, hearts, diamonds, squares, whatever kind of pattern you want to come up with, but make sure it's simple and easy to paint. If you get really detailed and tight, it can take you a longer time, which is okay if you have the patience to do that, but it also you have to make sure you, you can paint it. So keep that in mind, okay? So I'm doing mine really simple, and I am doing all orange on the top, all red on the bottom and alternating uh, a pattern. So I'm going yellow, yellow, orange, yellow, red, yellow, orange. So if you went all the way around, it would be yellow, orange, yellow, red, yellow, orange, yellow, red, yellow, orange, <laughs> and so on. Okay, so it makes it look like a long stripe here and a long stripe here. So, and then I'm gonna paint some diamonds in there. So let's start with the background. We always wanna paint our background. And 
I started with that nice turquoise sky blue, which is a beautiful color. And I'm gonna continue painting with you. So get your blue out. And we're gonna finish painting the background. Well, I'm gonna finish when you get you get started. <laughs> I always like to do half the project so you can kind of see the progress of what I've done. And okay, so oh, and I didn't mention I am using a medium large flat brush for the background. Okay, and I do have my colors on my palette. So you can take your uh, paint strip, you can paint right out, of, right out of it, but if your brush is bigger than your the paint strip, the little tiny paint strip pots, these things here, sometimes the brush is too big to fit in there. So they do come apart, you can cut them apart and you can scoop out the paint. Just make sure that um, they're not all open when you tip it. Okay, make do one at a time, and uh, you can fill your palette that way. It's easier to work from your palette. At least it is for me. Okay, so I'm going to paint right over where I traced. Okay, so don't worry about that. I am going to paint around my basket. And remember, you know, I think we're working with a watercolor paper. I think that's what I gave you. And you can add a little water. The paint will go much further. You won't run out of paint. You just keep painting with it. Okay. Okay, so now, as usual, I'm usually done before you. So put me on pause or play from the beginning again while you get caught up. Okay, so there is my background, my blue, blue sky. And you're probably can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just what's called feathering some of the extra paint. So I have a dry brush right now, and I'm just kind of pulling any extra paint around, or if I have a little water, watercolor paper will soak it right up. It loves water. That, that said, no lakes, no big puddles, okay? <laughs> Just get your brush wet so the you know, paint flows on there real nice. Okay, so there's my blue background, okay? And you finish, you put me on pause if you need to finish your background. And then join me for the next step. And the next step, I am going to, well, let's see, we're gonna, work on our balloon. So you choose your colors of what you think you want in your balloon. If you draw a design, you need to paint around it and you also, or a pattern, a design is like some flowers that maybe a pattern is something that usually is diamond, 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 or diamond circle, diamond circle, diamond circle is more of a pattern. But a design is, is like maybe some circles, and then some flowers or a big heart with, I don't know, just something that you want on your balloon, okay? So make sure you can paint it in and it's not too complicated. All right, so since I have my orange, I'm keeping this really simple. And sometimes some simple is better. So <laughs> orange, red, and so I'm gonna finish my orange at the top and I have a round brush that I'm using the the tip here it's not flat I 
like this because so I have a small tip and I can get into small areas. Okay. Do a very good job there. I already got it outside my lines. <laughs> See, I make mistakes too. I'm only human. and I am painting over the uh, my my black marker which is okay and don't forget you can you can turn your art project around sometimes it's easier to get to different areas and turn it around I do that all the time okay when I'm working with something that's not you know really really large if I can turn it around then I do it all the time okay so there's the top and you're probably just getting started which is just fine all right so this next one's gonna be yellow and then orange so since I have orange on my brush I'm gonna continue because I know my pattern of what I'm doing switch. Actually, I'm going to wash my brush really well because I don't want other colors in my yellow. So I just want to make sure my brush is really clean. And pick up my yellow. And I dabbed off the extra water. Always do that. I don't know if you can see this. When I wash my brush, I always dab, I tap it on the side, and then I take my towel and dab it, the extra water off on my towel. So just make sure you, you do that. You don't want a lot of water you know, going from your water and then right into your paint, or you get a lot of water in your paint. And it gets really runny. If you can, you can take a picture and email me um, the your finished projects. I would love to see what you're you're doing. Okay. So there's my pattern. Now I'm going to go to red and finish the bottom. And I just washed, tapped, and blotted off the extra water on my brush. And I'm going to finish the bottom. You probably think, well, that's kind of boring. Maybe you want to do like different colors in every little section. And you can do that. It'd probably be really cool but I'm going to add something, so you'll see. All right. I'm going to add blue diamonds to my hot air balloon. Can you imagine living so long ago when they first did the first flight? In, what was it, 1783, I think I said? <laughs> okay. I can't believe they used to think a sheep was like a human, so they thought maybe the sheep would react since nobody had ever been up in the sky and that the the duck and the rooster could fly. So if there was a problem, <laughs> I guess so, I don't know. I should read more history about that. That's a fascinating story. Okay, so now 
I have, this is already drying, like the, my sky is almost dry. And I mixed a little white with my blue. I'm gonna start inside here. And the reason I did a little white was because then it lightens my blue and it also shows up really well on another color. Hmm. I, maybe I should have made that bigger. But it is what it is now. <laughs> make sure whatever, if you paint over another color, make sure it's um, dry. Otherwise you'll end up with a muddy color. And make sure if you're painting diamonds or something else on top of another color, like my orange right now is dry. one is around the corner so I'm only going to do half the diamond because you would only see half of it. Okay. That side's still a little wet so I'm going to turn this upside down so I can reach as different parts get wet and start to dry. That's normal with watercolor paper, but when it's all dry, it should be pretty flat. It'll flatten back out. I'm on the corner here, so I'm only going to see half of the diamond that is wrapping around my balloon. is my little design and I can just keep going if I want if I want like a, a white dot in the middle I can do that there well, that's pretty cute I like that now when it's dry you can take a black marker again and you can go real careful go back over so I did this one so you can really see how it, it pops and it looks better uh, if you want to do that you don't have to but if you want to it, it looks nice so next <laughs> make sure you paint a little bit of color inside your the inside of the balloon there now next is let's do we need to do our clouds so at the bottom I'm going to put just a couple marks where I want my clouds and I'm using a flat brush to make those. So it's just like a, a curved line and another curved line and I can't remember what kind of clouds these are called where they're flat on the bottom. <laughs> And you don't have to be like that. Okay, so there's different ways to make your clouds. Um, I'll show you that. I'll share that with you in a minute. Okay, so I'm twirling my brush. I'm going to go right into my, uh, my basket here because you're not going to see that. 
we're going to put something over that. Remember, we're going to glue our basket down. So, All right, so I'm going to paint the bottom of this. my brush to kind of give those clouds a little extra texture in there. All right, so there's my clouds. Now, if you have like a little round sponge or something, you can make little clouds with a little sponge. Make sure it's just damp and all the water squeezed out. Or if you have a little stamp like this, you can dip it and you can make clouds that way. But be careful you don't get a ton of paint on your stamp, your little sponge stamp. I don't know what you have at home to play with and experiment with a little bit. Sometimes that's fun to do, but do it on another piece of paper so that you you get what you want, you know, that you don't ruin your art that you're working on now. So if you have something you want to experiment with, do it on another piece of paper. So that's another way to make clouds if you have some fun little things at home. Now, we're going to finish up by uh, gluing our basket. Okay. All right. So you can see how much glue I have. It's not dripping over, but enough because this is fabric and fabric kind of soaks up glue. So. I am going to put that down, but I don't want it to dry because I need to arrange my animals. So I'm going to use this like a pocket, okay, and I'm going to slide in my duck and then my sheep and then my rooster. He's going to be smaller, so I'm going to tuck him in a little further. And then I can put a little glue on the back. Like that. And my rooster. There. Okay. <laughs> so there are my passengers. Okay. There. And then you can finish up when it's dry, you can finish up decorating your um, your hot air balloon any way you'd like. So there we go. There's our hot air balloon and a little history lesson to go with it. So there's this one that we just finished and this one that I did. Oh, I know what else too. Um, I did use some, some brown to color in my my basket. You can use a little marker and make some little lines and how you do that. Let's see if I have brown out here. Let me just show you that real quick before I sign off and say goodbye. And so let's see. So here. So you would see, since you're looking up in the sky, you would see the bottom of the basket right here. Just do the best you can because this tends to be kind of hard to paint on. But if you want some little basket lines on there, I'm using black paint. There. So it kind of looks like a basket. Okay. There we go. There. It already does because it's burlap, but <laughs> so anyway. I hope you had really fun with that because that was a really fun project. So we will see you for our next project. This summer, I will not be doing any tutorials. I'll be selling off a little bit of extra inventory. So you can visit my website, at, um, Plateau Art Studio, and um, 
I will be doing more tutorials and lessons come uh, this fall in 2021. And so look for the first ones in September. They'll be released in September. All right, so thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful summer and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I hope you had fun with that project. Tune in next week. We'll see what we're doing then. Okay, bye-bye.